guys welcome back to my channel again it's your girl roxy here so today's project is a simple diy so i'll be using the above materials i'll be using this cardboard i had at home to do the projects today and also i'll be using some poster board i had at home from a previous project and also some reflective mirror paper i'll put the contact where you can get the mirror reflective paper i'll be using a protector pencil and a ruler for this project my today's project i got inspired with this beautiful crystal mirrored vase so i'll be making a version of this vase using some simple materials which are not breakable if you're interested keep on watching i started by making the template for my project so i had to draw a line which was 10 centimeters on the poster board so which will act as the base of this project so i made some points on the poster board and then drew a line which was 10 centimeters after drawing the line i took my protector and from the end of the line i made an angle which was 60 degrees so from that 60 degrees angle i'll draw another line which will be 10 centimeters so as to join that line so that will be the angle of the sides so it will be 60 degrees then drew a line which was 10 centimeters long I did the same thing on the other side, made a marking on the 60 degree angle, then drew a line which was 10 centimeters. After drawing the lines on the side which was 10 centimeters long, I went ahead and took my protector, placed my protector at the end of that line and then I made a marking of 30 degrees. Guys, I made a marking of 30 degrees on that side, then took my ruler and drew a line which was 30 centimeters long. So the small sides that which was 10 centimeters, I placed another protector on top of the line then marked my 30 degrees angle from there used my ruler to join in the point and then i used 30 centimeters length for the longest side of my template i did the same thing on the other side placed the protector made my marking then used the ruler to join in the point so as to get the desired size for my templates for those who are new to my channel it's so great to have you here guys today and thank you so much for clicking on to these videos kindly if you haven't subscribed to my channel please please do subscribe and also click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever i post my new diy videos thank you so much once i was done drawing i went ahead and joined the two points so as to make the line of the top part of my templates once i was done i took my pair of scissors and cut down the templates i went ahead to trace down the templates on my cardboard so as to get the shape that i needed for my project
the side, which is the short side of the vase. I had to add a lot of hot glue here again, so as to hold well the foam board, which will act as the side of my vase. I had to make sure I added enough glue inside so as to hold well the two foam board which were joining together at that angle and so as to make sure my vase is strong enough. I did the same on the other side, glued down the vase sides and after I was done I added more glue in the inner part so as to make sure my vase is strong enough. Once the glue was dry, I went ahead to fit in the other part of the vase. As you can see, it fitted in perfectly. I then went ahead to glue it down on the inner side of the vase, which was easier than gluing it down on the sides. Once it was dry, I went ahead to glue the bottom part of the vase. I had to make 10 by 10 centimeters for the vase and it fitted in perfectly on the bottom part of the vase. As for the top part of the vase, I ended up using acrylic mirrors I had at home from a previous project to cover the top part of the vase. So I had to join them together in this shape so as to fit in perfectly on the top part of my vase. And finally guys, this is the end look of my beautiful mirrored vase that I've just made using cardboard. Guys, you can say it's made of cardboard. It has turned out so, so pretty. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this beautiful vase I've just made. It's easy and inexpensive to make and also it's durable. Even though this baby drops it down, it can't break, unlike a mirrored one. For those who have been supporting me, I would like to say thank you again. And those who are coming back to my channel, thank you again. And those who are new and haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe. See you next time for a new DIY videos. Bye-bye!